Welcome to 2023 and a brand new year in the doll making world of Fig and Me. If you're new here, my name is Fabiola and I've been making dolls without stopping since 2008. It has been a long journey and every year I get to continue exercising my doll making muscles. I get filled with gratitude for the opportunity to expand my creativity. If you would like to hear more about my journey, there's a video here detailing it. Or you could also watch this other video where I talk about the dolls I made in 2021. It would be lovely for me to hear your opinion in the comments on which of the dolls I made last year speaks more to you, as I love reading how people experience my dolls. So please watch the video and then let me know. I started the year with Henrietta Swan, a doll I actually made in 2021, but one I decided to keep the rest of the year with me to keep me company. There are three videos here in the channel with Henrietta. The one about making her cute teacup holster, the princess and the pea little quilt, and the tutorial to sew her pumpkin patch dress. Henrietta is made in my mannequin style, a doll sculpted in wool over an articulated armature. She's about 16 inches tall and of extremely petite construction. Her head rotates and she can bend, be posed and stand in a myriad of ways. The creation of new dolls last year really started with my Children of the Snow. Three custom dolls to mirror a sibling trio, the now adult children of my customer. I was delighted at the opportunity to make three dolls in one go, as I love seeing doll families together, especially for photo shoots. Though working on three dolls at once, with a variety of outfits, poses a bit of a gigantic workload on me, I took it nice and slow. So while I started working on them in late January, I didn't actually finish them until March. Natural fiber art dolls take a very long time to be created, a hundred hours of work or so, but they're incredibly rewarding to make and my greatest passion. You can find a little video speaking about their creation here in the channel. In April, I contributed with Mariana, another petite fixed style doll, to a small effort to provide aid for Ukraine organized by my dear friend, Winter Lutz Dolls. A bunch of us got together and donated the income from the sale of our dolls to benefit the Red Cross in Ukraine. Mariana is weighted with glass beads in her tummy to give her a nice feel when you hold her. She has a face full of hand-painted freckles and is wearing my bunny overalls, a tutorial I created for my Patreon channel. In April, I also created another small family of wee baby bunnies, soft and squishy little dolls that I have been making since 2010. These are made with repurposed cashmere or lamb's wool sweaters stuffed with sweet smelling wool. And in this case, they came with a little carrot baby. By May, we entered into the world of Miss Nieves, another mannequin-style doll like Henrietta. She was such a breath of fresh air into my life, and I deeply cherish every moment I got to spend with her while I was deep in creation. I normally make 100% of all the items that come with my dolls, but in this case, I used a pair of velvet Mary Jane shoes that I bought because my mannequin dolls have similar body measurements to MSD dolls, a type of ball jointed doll, which is very handy if I want to buy them shoes. She's wearing a beautiful linen dress with pin tucks, puff sleeves and a quilted apron. Her headband is a piece of vintage embroidered ribbon and her hair is made of wool locks that I sewed into wefts. She also has a second outfit made with Liberty of London that I tea dyed to tone the bright colors, another linen apron and alpaca knitted boots. In July came the arrival of another custom small petite fig 
with their articulated head and weighted belly. This one going by the name of Kiara, a girl in love with plants and animals. She was born while the roses and the bunch berries were blooming. We got a lot of inspiration from the summer garden and the meadows around our home. My family took a two-week break over the summer to go camping to a close-by nature park away from the internet hustle and surrounded by ancient nature. My eldest daughter spent the summer working at this park and she came to see us every day to eat her dad's food. September arrived and Miss Miel graced us with her presence. I have a very soft spot for Miel. There's something in her face that speaks very deeply to me. I've already made a video of Miel, so you can go and check it out if you want. In October, Glenda was born, and she brought so much life and excitement to my studio with all her little requests, asking for mushroom hats, and felted hats, and outfits to complement them, even a broom. This time, I made her mushroom hat over a hat form, using velvet and paint, a first for me. And I wet felted her witch's hat over a resist. Also another first. Both endeavors proved very fun and I'm looking forward to experience more hat making adventures this year. Also in October, I had the pleasure of finally finishing Miss Ella, a custom figlet. This is a much older styled of doll, a pattern I created in 2011 to mirror the body proportions of my youngest daughter at the time with her nubby knees and lanky extremities. Ella is part of a doll family of four children, which I have been slowly and dutifully creating since 2021. I have one more sibling to make and I think he's going to be super fun to see come to life. Real life Ella 
has a face full of freckles and the curliest and bounciest of hair. So her mother and I searched high and low for the mohair curls to use for her. We pounced on these gorgeous locks when we saw them. I dyed them myself, sewed them into wefts and gave her head full of curled beauty she deserved. The figlet doll usually represents a five or six year old. So I like to dress them very appropriately with roomy clothes that allow a lot of movement for play. Then it was time for Arietti. Not the last custom doll of the year, but the last one I sent home in 2022. As you can see, this wool child is full of personality and attitude. The name of Arietti comes from the book, The Borrowers. And if you've never read the marvelous adventures of these little people, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Since it was near Christmas season, Arietti watched a few holiday movies with me while I patiently worked on her clothes and her leather boots. She decided she wanted a reindeer hat with a nose so bright. And there I go again, manufacturing crazy hat ideas for my dolls. I absolutely love the way her hat came out with the tall antlers and the large wool felt bead. I hope her mom enjoys playing with her and dressing her up in all her pretty clothes. Miss Indigo was also created last year, but she stayed with me until very recently so I will introduce her in a video later on. If you want to check Miss Indigo, you can go visit her on my blog. To close the year, I made a small gift for all of you. Another doll tutorial to create Baby Frost. It's the video just before this one, so if you haven't checked it out, go and take a peek. It shows you how to create a very small doll with beginner needle felting techniques, so in the end, you will have a Waldorf-inspired doll ready for cozy snuggles. I hope this little doll recollection inspires your creative spirit and that you see the different personalities I am quite fond of creating. While most of my dolls share many details of their construction, and especially when creating siblings, I like to give them a sense of familiarity, I hope you can see the uniqueness of each one. Even though they're all created with different personalities, they all look and feel very much big in me. That has always been my aim to create unique dolls that speak to one heart most deeply, to cherish the creative process without trying to force it or rush it, to walk my journey with integrity of my creative spirit and to explore doll making with mindfulness and care. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to let me know which doll is your favorite and why. It will be so lovely to hear your thoughts too. This week I've created a community post, so you can let me know which videos you would like to see from me this year. So please, help yourself there and start sharing with me your ideas. Thank you for watching this sort of doll anthology, and I will see you very soon.